So it's equal pay day again. <laughs> Today is a symbolic day. It's chosen to represent the day in 2018. That's how far women need to work into this year in order to make as much money as men made just in last year in 2017. Nationally, women's earnings overall are about 80% of men's. In Vermont, where we have a good solid history of working towards equity, women earn about 86% of what men do. This is a really complex problem, and I'm grateful to all those who are working together to change it. I want to particularly thank the legislators who are advancing legislation that uses multiple strategies to close the gap, as well as to address systemic racism. And I want to thank you, and I want to thank Governor Scott as well, for your thoughtful and serious consideration to issues of equity and economic opportunity for all Vermonters. Together, we can shape and improve the future for young women by continuing to advocate for equal pay, equal job opportunities, and training and education. We have been raising powerful and successful women in Vermont, and we all need to continue this work. Our culture and society will be the better for all the more we achieve in this area. As a young child, I was way too young to fully understand the ills of how the lack of pay inequality contributed to why my mother and her sisters struggled to put food on the table and pay their bills. However, I did grow up hearing stories from the kitchen table that the color of their skin was part of the reason for the poverty my brothers, my cousins, and I were experiencing at different times in our childhood. The intersectionality, the crossroads of race, gender, disability, age, sexual orientation, and so on can double, triple the discrimination and or exclusion of a woman. Did I say that disabled women earn 37 cents on the dollar compared to men? We must keep naming it, challenging it, challenging it, and expose it. Unfairness. I would like my daughter Whitney a woman, a woman of color, to tell her daughter, there once was a time, fill in the blank. I want to be paid fairly for my work, don't you? And now I'd like to introduce Governor Scott. Uh, Governor Scott, I'm pleased to be here with you again today, acknowledging Equal Pay Day, and I want to thank you in particular for your ongoing commitment to gender equity. Well, thank you very much and good afternoon. Um, thank you for inviting me to join you again today. It's great to be part of this important day uh, again this year. Thank you to our speakers for highlighting the importance of achieving equal pay in Vermont. This has been an important issue for my administration as well. Closing the wage gap will undoubtedly have many positive outcomes for Vermont. And most notably, it would help uh, put us one step closer to providing equality for all. It is simply the right thing to do. Since taking office, uh, my administration has taken steps to advance equality in a safe working environment for all. We implemented new policies requiring and standardizing sexual harassment prevention training for my employees as well as other state employees. And in February, I called for the legislature to pass either S-275 or H-294, both relating to equal pay, and send them to my desk for signature. I'm also proud to have helped achieve some important milestones on gender balance in Vermont, including nominating, along with Senator Leahy, the state's first female U.S. Attorney, Christina Nolan, as well appointing Judge Karen Carroll to the Vermont Supreme Court, giving it a majority of female justices for the first time in history. I'm also very proud to say that 50% of my senior staff and nearly half of my cabinet and extended cabinet are comprised of women. But we have so much more work to do on diversity in the workplace and to close the uh, pay gap. One of my goals as governor is to have a stronger, more diverse, and more talented workforce. And that means giving women equal opportunities to succeed. Together, we will continue to make progress on this important issue. So I thank you for all your support uh, as we move towards the future. 
And with that, I will sign uh, today's proclamation, but I'll read it uh, first. Excuse the whereases. <laughs> That's the way we talk here, right? <laughs> like that. Whereas, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, the gender wage gap in Vermont is 14 cents. And Vermont women working full-time year-round receive, on average, 86% of men's earnings, and whereas race and gender intersect, and there is a wider wage gap for the women of color in our state, and whereas in Vermont the earnings ratio is 85% for white women, 80% for Hispanic or Latino women, 58% for Asian women, and nationally 63% for black women, and 57% for Native women, and whereas disability and gender also intersect, and the earnings ratio for women with disabilities in Vermont is 37%. And whereas Vermont faces an aging and shrinking workforce and must work to address barriers to all women's participation in the workforce. Now therefore I, Philip e. Scott, Governor, do hereby proclaim April 10th, 2018 as Equal Pay Day in Vermont. We're working, I'm getting There you go. <laughs> you get the pen. Oh! <laughs>